Hi, my friend. If you saw Monday's blooper, you saw this in the background, but you didn't see it in Monday's video because I changed everything around. When I had to redo the entire video, all the segments were messed up or non-existent because I didn't tape them. Uh, so I changed everything up. So I'm Pat Sloan, and what I want to do first today on Tuesday is to tell you about the panel. I showed you this, but I just sort of held it up like this. I wanted to get it up on the wall. This is so makes my heart sing. You know, you just, you know, like, ah, oh, I love this. It is so cool. I love large graphics. I love interesting things, funky things. So this is part of the chalk chalkboard coffee or coffee chalkboard line, whatever it is. Uh, and I'll be showing you a project using one jelly roll in the near future, probably in February. But this part here, this is of the size of a backing of a lot of quilts and you can put a border on to get it big enough, but I want to make it as the front. It's just not quite big enough for that back wall. I want to put it on that one. It needs to be a little bit wider, a little bit longer so that it fills it out. And I have turquoise dots. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just add a little bit on all the sides, all four sides, and then I'll use my, um, Harmony wide back in aqua and get it quilted. Just maybe um, Jenny can find something with coffee cups or coffee beans and then I'll hang it on the back. So I have my own little bistro. <laughs> That's the idea anyway. I just want to show you because it is such a cool thing. And if you have a coffee lover in your life, you can still pick up these panels. So the link is in the description box down below. Here is the final backing for the old school where I used pretty much everything. So I filmed as I was doing this, this little segments, which I'm now going to show you sort of in sequence so that you can see how I went from just, you know, some random, the random parts to getting this backing put together. Here is the start of the backing for the old school. I did leave that row up there from the Woodland Wonderland. The rest of it's stacked here. There's the old school. So I'm doing, these are the 10 inch squares, but I didn't want to trim this down so much. So I added a little bit to them. They're going to be about, this row will be about 10 and a half uh, width and then the whole length. And then over here on, by the machine is the top half. So those will be on the top half and probably a little bit more. You can see all the construction stuff going on over here. This is a pile that will be for doing the next row. I'll use up all the smaller pieces that I have. I've already got these two. I found, oh, I didn't tell you, I found two more, three more of these crumb blocks with enough of these fabrics in them. So here, there's two on this one, and then there's, whoops, here we go, one, two, three on that one. And I'm using that peach for the spacer. So I am pretty darn happy with that. I'd like to get that backing pieced up. So I got the ladder and I went ahead and put the whole middle section as I have it for the old school up here. So you can see all the way up, 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 because it's kind of long. Uh, so I have to have some extra also for putting it on the long arm machine. So here you can see I've got three of the blocks, the crumb blocks. Move that over. There. So you can see three of the crumb, crumb blocks on here, two over there, and I've got all these, the layer cake chunks all put on here. So now I am going to do the sides and the sides are going to use up my chunks of wide back from my Harmony line, the black that are left over. And so let's take a look because I want to show you what I'm going to do here and how I'm going to think about it. So I have my diagram I did, wherever it is. So I did my diagrams so that I have exactly what I need, how I've got to cut. And I'll show you how one side, one side is going to come together super well, super, super well. So I had this piece of harmony and I was able to trim it to two equal sizes, but I still need some, something more. It was, it's not long enough. So I have these two chunks that I'm getting rid of the peach. There's a, you can see over here. There's still a little bit of peach left, but not much. I'm getting that used up. This was a piece of the black the, that I bought, like some of the extra, a little bit extra, like a half yard. So this, these three, up, so these two together, and then one of these on either side, and this will be down on one side of what's on the wall. 
then, then I have to figure out how to make all of this do as the best I can. Because <laughs> I'm not going to go cut any more wide back. These are pieces left over, so I'm trying to use them up. Same deal. I'll take this one, which of this wide back, but see, I've got it cut. So I have to do a little manipulation. I have to trim that off, and then I'll cut this in half. I'll take it at the fold and cut it in half. Maybe even not at the fold. I think it's a little bit too wide, so um, I need about 19 inches, so whatever that is. And then I'll look at what I got. I have these pieces of peach, so I there's a small piece. I have uh, some really small pieces here of some of the other stuff. See what I can sew up. I have this unit that was already sewn and trimmed from on the other side. So like this can sew here. Peach can sew on here, I think. Oh no, that's wider. So I don't know. I'll see how I do. That's a big square. And then I have the floral. So I kept thinking, oh, I should just save this floral. Then I said, no, we'll save it for what? I'm going to have more florals I love. I don't have anything in mind for it. Um, I will just cut this up. And I believe this will accomplish, plus this, and you know, I think all of this will accomplish the other side up there. But if it doesn't, so what I'm going to do is go into the black fabrics and find some that they look really similar. So if the black fabric looks really similar to this other black fabric, then I will use those. And I probably only need maybe two fat quarters. That's what I'm thinking um, to finish this out. Maybe just one fat quarter. I have to get it done and pieced and then I'll know. It's done. It is the afternoon of Christmas Eve and I decided to just work on this until it was done. I walked over and got a coffee. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you. This coffee's on you. Uh, and so I want to show it to you. This is so exciting. I haven't played around like this for such a long time. Uh, I find this just super fun to do. You end up with little things that you just don't expect like this floating here in the middle. I had originally, I think, intended this to go against the peach. I don't know why, but it ended up there and it just looks like this little bit floating. And there's all kinds of other little pieces like that that ended up. I'm also very happy that I got it going the right direction because sometimes I get things flipped around when I'm doing this because they're such long pieces. But there are actually some pieces here that have a top uh, to them, which like the pink one here, this floral, the, there's a flower and so it's got a, a vertical. So this is long. It's probably a little too long. I have to ask the spa how long uh, it can be because <laughs> otherwise they just turn it the, you know, they turn it one way, turn it the other way, whatever. But um, I, I'm, I, think, I think I have to trim it down a little bit. So I'm super excited. This end over here is uh, pretty boring. It's just the black and the peach on that side, but I'm okay with that. There'll be parts of that cut off, which I'll use and, you know, parts of the top and bottom because there's extra big for the old school block of the month. And here is the quilt itself. So this is a little journey into everything about creating a back. And I have to tell you, I did not have to add any fabric. Plus, I ended up with this I did not use at all, so I can keep it. And it's a nice big chunk. I think it would be pretty for a binding or it might end up in some other project. And then otherwise I have these. Used all of the layer cake, all, all but this of like, I think it was a half a yard piece. And then the peach that was, a, you know, the background of the whole thing, which I don't even know how much I had. Um, but this is all that's left. That that is super exciting. So if you loved seeing this process, let me know because I had a fun time sort of filming a couple of chunks of it as I went along and I'd love to keep doing that for you. <laughs> so I'm going to get this one folded up. I'm going to mark the top. I'm going to staple a piece of paper to the top of that and to the top of the front so that uh, Jenny at the spa knows the long armor, Jenny the long armor. <laughs> She knows what is the top of the quilt because they can't guess, you know, if it's a sampler, they can't know. And here, this doesn't look like it has a top or a bottom, but it does to me. And so I want to mark it. And I always do that with everything. All right. So that one's a wrap. 
Before I finish up this video, I wanted to show you back to the beginning to the coffee panel. So I have the turquoise dots on the edge. Here it is, whoops, there's the side. So both the sides and the bottom. I made the top and bottom just an inch long, each one of those an inch longer than the sides so that it would hang a little bit further down on my back wall. And I think for my backing, I'm gonna go with the Harmony black and white. This is my wide back, the Harmony fabric, and you can find it at the link in the description box, ask your favorite quilt shop. So I think that'll be perfect. These get wrapped up and I gotta take them over to the spa. So remind you that anytime you're looking for something that I've talked about, all you need to do is come here to YouTube where you're watching this and go to the search for my, in my channel, come to my channel, Pat Sloan, and then go to the little search magnifying glass and put in whatever term you're looking for. That way you'll pick up any videos or uh, that have that term in it and you can watch again, such as uh, this one. So you could say, you know, how do you piece a backing? and that would come up for for you to watch the whole thing so thank you my friend i hope you thought that was fun i hope you try this if you've never tried it and i was thrilled to find those extra crumb blocks so i could use them up in here yes <laughs> i love you Mwah. see you online